political battle between Governor Godwin Obaseki and his former godfather Adam Soshomole has been blamed for the continued delay in the inauguration of 14 members elect two years after the inauguration of the state parliament. On December 14, 2019, the seats of the 14 members elect were declared vacant by the leadership of the House. Those affected are Victor Edoro S. San Centra, Washington Osifo, Uwonode, Vincent Wadia, Ovia North East 2, Uguagbe Dumez, Ovia North East 1, and Sunday Agedo, Ovia Southwest. Others are Crosby, Eribo, Ego, Chris, Akieben, Oredo West, Kinsley, Ugbabi, Esako East, Ganiyu Audu, Esako West 1, Sedu, Oshomole, Esako West 2, Oshoma Ahmed, Esako Central, and Michael Ohio Ezemo, Owa West. Also affected are Uyi Ekensi Oredo East and Henry Okaka Owa East, who were sworn in but failed to meet the mandatory 118 one day seating requirement for a member in the calendar year. While some constituents blamed Obaseki for the crisis in the House, others are of the opinion that the members elect shouldn't have listened to their godfather. One of the people, Mr. John Igbinovia, said the members elect should have gone for inauguration in June 2019. You cannot fight from outside. They allow themselves to be misled by their godfather who promised them heaven on earth and today they are fighting to get to the house, he said. He said the lawmakers who were voted to make law for the people of their communities they should have considered the interest of their constituents rather than listening to Godfathers. After the initial inauguration, two other members elect came and they were inaugurated, he added. On his part, Dada Ayoka described the development as unfortunate, saying political intrigues between two political gladiators have denied them representation. The constituency is actually losing so much for not having representation at the House of Assembly. And I hope it will not get to a situation where the people take laws into their hands, he said. Also speaking, another resident who gave his name as Mr. Odion said, the Edo Assembly saga was a wake-up call for judicial reforms in the country. The members elect have gone to court and it's almost three years now. The case is still lingering and by the time it is dispensed of the four years is over, he said. Meanwhile, Washington Osifo, the member representing Uwonode constituency, has said the case is still in court and they will follow it to a logical conclusion since the political solution has failed. Even when we were in the same party, we tried political solution. Party leaders, governors and the president intervened. But I don't know why those who do not want us to represent our constituency are held bent on keeping us out of the assembly, he said. He said their exclusion from the House has created a huge gap in the governance in the state, adding that the docile nature of the House is what the absence of the 14 of them has brought to governance. If the House is complete, it will reflect in terms of quality contributions, debate and oversight functions and pushing the executive to do what will improve the state. The legislative arm is out to provide alternative voice and reasoning to the executive, but this is lacking in Edo, he said. Our correspondent should not get the response of the state government as Governor Gordon Obaseki is yet to appoint a media aide since his, his inauguration for a second term. But PDP said the declaration of the seat of the law, 14 lawmakers vacant by the state of assembly remains. The party's publicity secretary, Chris Nahi Kaira, said, the onus is on the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to conduct a by-election to fill the vacant seat. The State Publicity Secretary of the APC, Chris Ezambua, said the matter is in court. The 14 lawmakers have fought various legal battles to compel the leadership of the Assembly to inaugurate them. A Federal High Court in Abuja had in January 2020 restrained the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, from conducting by-election to fill 14 seats of the Edo State House of Assembly, which were declared vacant in December. This followed an expert application by counsel to the lawmakers who are loyalists of Obaseki, 
who sought to stop the election to replace them in the assembly. The lawmakers had also in August 2019 obtained a restraining order of the Federal High Court Abuja stopping both Senate and the House of Representatives over plans to take over the legislative duties of the Edo State House of Assembly. All of this uh, drama and all of this happened just uh, because of um, the battle between Governor Gordon Obaseki and uh, um, Adam Soshomole. We know since um, they, they went different ways, Adam Soshomole um, decided um, to, to support another candidate ahead of the 2020 Edo State Governorship election. But we know before then, you know, during campaigning activities and everything that went on, um, in the House of Assembly, there were factions, loyalists of Adam Soshomole and loyalists of Governor Gordon Obaseki. And these 14 members elect, um, it was gathered that um, they were promised different things, various things by Adam Soshomole not to turn up. But at the end of the day, it played up against them because there was um, a requirement, a mandatory requirement for lawmakers to fulfill 181 day sitting requirement as members in a calendar year so in 12 months if they've not um, um met the mandatory 181 days then um they are going to be sent back in that was what happened it wasn't like um, governor Gordon Obaseki um just sent them packing also when they were meant to pro uh, um, come out produce themselves for inauguration they did not turn up they didn't turn up as well so um, some persons are blaming the rift between Obaseki and Oshomole as what has um, continued to uh, um, deprive the constituencies. Because we know at the end of the day, if two elephants fight, we know a common saying that if two elephants fight, it's the grass that suffers. So these 14 lawmakers, they are meant, let's not forget, they are meant to be representing various constituencies. So they are meant to be the voice of, of uh, 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 people. But so this is lacking. In the house, no one is speaking for the people. No one is uh, bringing their cause, bringing their concerns, bringing their demands before the house. So that a uh, fourteen, it's not a small number. However, we know when PDP reacted uh, regarding this, they stated that uh, the matter is not in their hand. It doesn't have anything to do with Governor Gordon Obaseki. Obaseki is not the one keeping them out of the house. It was their decision in the first instance. But right now, um, it's the onus lies on INEC to conduct a by election. Because those seats, they have been declared vacant so, um, because of um, the mandatory requirements. So the onus lies on the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to conduct a by election. However, uh, one of the 14 lawmakers have insisted, Washington Osifo, has insisted that um, the case is still in court and um, they are pursuing logical conclusion since political solution has failed. Quite interesting. Guys, let's hear your take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. And please, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, click on the like button. And if it's your first time, you're very welcome. Please hit on the subscribe button. Thank you and God bless you till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.